Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Determine if each of the following is true or false. Now before we start with part A, we have to define factors A and B. So we're going to make the assumption that A and B are two different vectors. Again, vector A and vector B are not equal vectors. Part A, vector A plus vector B equals to vector B plus vector A. Now, I think this is true, and you can justify this by drawing the actual vectors. So if I think about vector A plus a vector B, and I add them, and again, I'm applying the triangle law, that's going to be vector A plus B. Or if I start with vector B and I add vector A again, this is the same resultant vector. So again, vector A plus vector B equals to vector B plus vector A. Let's keep going. Let's put a check mark. Let's use a different color. Part B, vector A minus vector B equals to vector B minus vector A. So I don't think this is true. The answer should be false. Again, if I draw a diagram, and I show the counter example. So if I look at A minus B, A is going to go like that. Now B is pointing to the right. So negative B will be pointing to the left. So again, roughly speaking, there's negative B, the resultant vector, A minus B. On the right-hand side, B minus A. So vector B pointing this way. Again, negative vector A would look something like that. So it's going to point this way. And notice how B minus A is not the same as vector A minus B. So the answer is going to be false. Now, part C negative open bracket vector a plus vector b close bracket equals to negative vector a minus vector b this one is true and again you can almost look at the left hand side and if you expand this and again i'll draw the arrow for you you can see negative one times vector a is negative vector a negative one times vector b negative vector b just like that now before we keep going i would like you to try c not c i mean i would like you to try d e and f so pause the video try this when you're done and you press play again i'll be here welcome back everybody let's keep going in part d we're looking at vector c so when I added the third vector, let's go back to the given. Let's say C is like that. Vector C plus open bracket, vector A plus vector B close bracket equals to vector A plus open bracket, vector B plus vector C. So again, this is going to be true. And if you want to illustrate this, here's what you can do. On the left-hand side, I'm starting with vector C plus so notice the brackets here right a plus b which we talked about so if you go back and you look at this quickly a plus b is going to look something like this a is here b is here so the sum is going to be vector a plus vector b and again if i highlight this this entire expression on the left hand side c plus a plus b that's going to give you the resultant vector right there vector c plus in brackets, vector A plus vector B. Now, on the other side, the right-hand side, same idea, right? If you think about this, I'm starting with B plus C. So B plus C, it's gonna look roughly speaking, something like that. And I'm adding this with vector A. So again, if you use the triangle law, a is going to be right there. Again, A plus, in brackets, B plus C. That's going to give you the same 
resultant vectors. So again, A plus in brackets, B plus C, just like that. Let's switch colors. Part E, the magnitude of vector A minus vector B equals to the magnitude of B minus the magnitude of vector A. Now again, I think the answer is going to be false. If you want to illustrate this, here's one possible method. I go back, vector A minus vector B. So again, A minus B, it's going to look roughly like that. And we're looking at the magnitude. So we're looking for the length of the left-hand side. Again, this is the magnitude of vector A minus vector B. Now think about the right-hand side. Again, this is going to be the magnitude of B. And this is going to be the magnitude of A. So you can tell even by inspection that the difference in the magnitudes of B and A will not be the same as the magnitude of vector A minus vector B. One more time, part F. Vector A plus a zero vector equals to a zero vector. Now again, this is false because first of all, vector A plus a zero vector should be vector A. That's the first response. And if you draw this, it's going to look something like this. Again, let's go back. Vector A is right here. If I add a zero vector, that's still going to be vector A. So again, on the left-hand side, right here, this is the diagram. Now on the right, and this is very difficult to see, right? Because I'm not going to be able to draw this, but you can imagine on the right-hand side, a zero vector is going to be right there. You see what I just did? That's right. There's nothing. What is the direction of a zero vector? The no defined direction. What is a zero vector? It's really the sum of two opposite vectors. So you can think of it as vector mn plus nm, which equals to a zero vector. So again, for part f, the answer is going to be false. I hope this makes sense.